Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In today's video we're going to show you how to replace an ignition coil on a BMW X3. This one is a 3.0 engine as you can see. It's a straight 6 but it's the same for the 2.5 as well. And if you have a coil like 301 that means misfire cylinder number 1, most likely it's an ignition coil. Just stay with us to see how we're going to fix that and don't forget to subscribe, we upload a new video almost every day. Ok, now we have two leads that we need to remove with a flathead screwdriver, just hold them not to lose them, one there and one in the back right there. And those are not hard to remove and then two more on the valve cover gasket itself, but we need to remove the other two that we already did for the fuel injectors, ok right there. And now you need to remove the oil cap, but make sure you don't drop anything inside of it because if you do it might go down the engine they have the cover but just in case so now with a 10 millimeter socket we need to remove this and this bolt okay pretty simple on the back you can use a small ratchet and just a socket so you have more room to do it 10 millimeter socket there okay we removed one of the bolts and now the second one here is done and what you need to do just pull it to the left and pull it out of there and that's where your fuel injectors are located in the fuel rail if you need to do some work as well. Now we need to remove these two, one here and the one in the back. Okay. Okay, we're removing the second nut on this, the valve cover right here, they, they, those are two nuts. And the other ones are two bolts that we already did. Now you just pull up and you pull it out of there. And that's where your ignition coils are located as well. Okay, what you need to do next, you need to remove the, uh, the ignition coils and it's six of them, pretty simple, we'll demonstrate on one of them, but it's the same for all six of them. Okay, now depending on the code, if it ends in one, it means it's cylinder number one right here, that's the ignition coil, two is two, three, four, five and six, representing the cylinder number. So in our case, number one is not working okay. So we're replacing the first one, you just pull up like that all the way and it pushes the wire out. And once you do that, you just pull the ignition coil out. You pull it up, they're pretty tight there because they have the seal to prevent water and moisture going in there, in the spark plug. Which could affect the way it starts. Okay, right there, you can see how stuck that thing is. And this one, it's... It's pretty much done, so you need to replace it with a new one. We got a new one on eBay for 15 bucks. A used one actually, because the used the quality one is better than buying a cheap Chinese one. Okay, this is the part number if you need it. Okay, now we getting the used one that we got, the replacement one. You install it, you just push in all the way in. Okay, you can hear it clicking now. You need to install the wire and push down like that. It's going to pull the wire and your problem is solved. All you need to do is just reset the light now and put the cover back on and that's the way to go guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like.